For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that how to get help whenever you do not have any internet access or most of the production servers do not have access because of the security reasons. But you have some command, don't know what are the options or how you, you have to use the command or what is that command is used for. Okay, then what you can do here it is that internal command line help. So, what uh, it makes in the sense it, it give you a lot of information about the command or a lot of the uh, commands if you can uh, do that okay so what you can uh, do over here it is that if you so use this man command to get help so there is a man categories if you go in this man pages okay so these categories so there are nine categories okay so one two nine categories each category they play a different role okay so what does mean by the category over here so i will tell you oh, later of this explanation okay first one is the executable programs are shell commands which means that any programs which you make like example shell scripts and you place them into the uh, bin bin folder or as bin folder okay so those becomes any commands right so all the commands most of the commands are 99 percent of the commands are uh, shell scripts are some awesome scripts or wrappers okay system calls system calls which means that any command you run or anything you run on the system so that system will make some call to the kernel and execute that call okay which means that anything you are running so that in, in the back end there are the calls which are exchanging in between the kernel and the operating system and the uh, the hardware and the kernel and the the actual user interface okay library calls library calls in the sense there are some program libraries which are the dependent programs suppose say if you have if you want to run something there are these different different library files that dot uh, so file something like that those library calls okay so whenever you are running some program so the program will not run alone okay there is a supportable packages or there are some supportable libraries those will load okay that comes under the uh, category 3 okay and category 4 is a special file so example say that um, slash etc slash password file or uh, some device files example say that device files like uh, uh, dvd and sr0 and the tape drive files okay those are the special files usually they are found in the slash dev directory okay so which means that they have the files like from the front end if you look from the command line or uh, front end it looks only that there are that is called as a files but those representation of those files are actual devices right so those are called a special file so those related special files related category is four and special file formats like file formats and convention example that slash utc slash password file the password file will have a different format in the file because everybody in the linux machine they execute password command to change their password but they do not have full control on that file but how they are going to execute this okay that is a special due to a file formats so that makes all the users accessible or the all the users make their password um, change and password update all the stuff they can do using that special files okay the category six comes under the games linux games okay and seven which means that any miscellaneous miscellaneous in the sense which are not come under those six categories they come under this miscellaneous like macro packages and uh, 
conventions example that man 7 and g r o oh, g r f okay those are a miscellaneous things comes under seven category so this miscellaneous most of this stuff they do not have uh, man pages because they write just um, comes under the miscellaneous okay but some they do have the man pages and eight one eighth category is the system administration commands which are mostly useful for us for the system administration tough anything you make anything you change on the system using the super user account they comes under system administration commands example say that fds command fds command is a system administration command okay so those are the like uh, sudo command sudo command is also a root command which means that whenever you execute the sudo which means the any command which executes on the uh, root privileges okay and ninth one is the kernel routines kernel routines in the sense whatever the kernel related uh, routine things which comes under the non-standard format so these are the nine categories are there so why uh, i am explaining this one two three four five nine categories over here so what how does it make sense so you, whatever the category it is but we need the manual right so okay so i i will tell you over here okay if you go over here and you can see on the left side corner over here man page under one which means that the man page comes from the category one okay in the same way i'm going to just show you man uh, password file over here the password user utilities okay which means comes under the shell scripts and just commands okay password one right but the same password also has the different category of man page okay you can see that man iphone s and five and see that password see that this is a linux programmers manual okay see that right so it makes differentiate on the same command but they has the two category of the command so manual man first command is a user utility command which means that users they update their authentication tokens using this password which means that they change their passwords right but what about this fifth category this key means linux programmers so the password file which is the formatted special formatted file okay file format changes so it explain about those things so how the file format would be and what you can make what you cannot make and what what are the the file contains all the details over here but if you go to this man page it contains the different manual which means that how you can change your password how you can do use these commands to uh, get unlock your account all the stuff right so that's make the differentiate in between the comments so if you are looking for certain category of the command like administration commands or programming related commands or kernel related commands then you should go into the appropriate category then you can look the command okay you will get the exact help from the command line interface how you can go to that man page example say that man and provide your command what are the command you would like to uh, see that help and enter then it will provide you that command example so what is that command will do so list directory contents example in this command ls is, will do okay and what are those options you can have with that command along with that command okay these are these many options are there so with that command description so option with a description so that what 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 happens then it will make those command options so you can grab those options and you can execute them okay what are the command option you would like to and you can also do a uh, search example say if you want to do some uh, short name searching For example say man iphone k so i would like to get some short information about this uh, printf command okay how many printfs are there okay or else you can do that uh, concatenate the files okay so what are there so all these 
what are the matching word as you searching for it will give you those examples example if you want to man iphone k if you are looking for compression okay so these are the commands which are related to the compression and decompression see this like this if you if you are looking for particular any command okay uh, man iphone k example that i am looking for some uh, disk related commands over here okay these are all the commands related to the disk okay so you can just search using that man f and k and search for something which you are looking for then it will give you the all the command details okay you can just if you if you find appropriate command then you can find out or else you can also use f and yes category example say that i am looking for uh, fifth category and i am searching okay example password related then so in the fifth category these are the commands are available with the password string okay or if you are just searching for category 1 and i am looking for the password related uh, command what are the command is there ssl password and secret tools okay there are so many commands like this okay okay just go into that man page and uh, go up arrow down arrow you can see that uh, entire um, statement or the entire manual page up and down okay which line you are reading all the lines will be shared over here or in this you can also use space bar to come down okay you can also use uh, page down page up to go up and go down and if you want to search something in this manual page if you are looking for particular option example say that uh, i am looking for all option okay you can say simply type slash and provide provide the string name what you are searching for then it will highlight with the colors and if you want to repeat the search and up and down you can simply type uh, small n for down and uh, uh, capital n for the up search okay from down to up up to down okay small n and uh, capital n you can use that and you can use escape to um, escape from this method and uh, you can just press small g you go for the manual page to the first line if you press capital g will go down the manual page which means that all the end of the line which will go small g and capital g will go up and down okay and if you want to quit from this utility you can simply press q so it will quit from that manual page okay these manual pages are located located on the slash usr share directory in that there is a documentation or the manual page folder in that that manual page provide files will be there with the dot gz extension you cannot directly I'll read them but you can read them using the man uh, utility or if you would like to use any alias name commands or something like that you can use man pages okay or there are some instance help you can also use uh, p info command which also same um, works like the same as the man but it will give you the different format and the output okay you can see that it's a different one right see this it's not exactly the command options but will it will describe with the different options and uh, what it's doing which means that it comes from where and uh, what does it will do and what is the status of this and the command output exists status all the stuff okay so which will give you a little bit different different using the p info which means that page information will provide you by the so the man page details all the stuff it provides you right but it little bit different than the man page you can also use info the info also provide the same almost uh, same output as like the man page okay the only thing is that the uh, the difference here is that you can search in a different way on the commands and you can look at up the 
uh, whichever is easy for you okay the man page is the most easiest way so you can look up the options and command and description all the stuff and sometimes if you'd like to know where is that command is located exactly so this is very very useful whenever you would like to write some bashel scripts or powershell scripts sorry uh, perl scripts or python script something like that so sometimes the python command is located somewhere else and the python version will locate in a different like um, different python versions if you installed like 3.2 3.3 and 3.6 something like that so you particularly wanted to use particular version then you can use where is ls or where is python something like this so it will provide you that exact details where it is exactly located then this command path you can use to specify on the she bank somewhere else so whenever you are looking for that command so sometimes what happens here is that the path variable if it, the path variable is not working properly example say eco dollar path variable is not defined perfectly then whenever you type that python command it does not work okay example over here user bin is not perfectly given then where is the command you can look it up over here and type that entire line so that it will the command will be executed or if you want to start short description about the any command you can simply type what is and the command name it will give you that ls listing directory contents what is password so there are two categories update the user authentication and password file okay something like this if if you want to do man page so what it provides that information will be provided over here so that's about the getting the help on the command line itself so you don't need to search on the internet and uh, all the way you do not have internet don't panic then you can just go to the man page and refer the commands or the command format or the uh, whatever the word you have you can just search using the man iphone k and uh, you can just search a special category related numbers like which category number you would like you are looking for you can see that all the documentation in the server itself thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses Please follow us on social networking sites. If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.